So, as you'd expect, this is one of those films which just does what it says on the tin. So Beast follows the story of Idge Selva's character who goes to South Africa with his daughters as he tries to connect with them after their mother's death. However, things go wrong as he runs into this angry lion which starts hunting them down. And that's essentially the plot of Beast. And honestly, I found this movie to be okay. I didn't hate it. But I also didn't love it either. It wasn't anything groundbreaking, but it was a bit of fun. I had a good time with this movie in the cinema. Although, my big complaint with it is that I just, I never felt fully immersed into the movie I was watching. And whether that was just me being a bit uncomfortable in the cinema because I was in a weird seat today. Honestly, the seat I was sat in just, it didn't feel right. I don't know what it was, but I didn't feel that comfortable in the cinema today. So it might just be me, but I didn't really feel that immersed into the movie. And also, some of the CGI on the lions and the tigers that you see in the film... Uh, it isn't the best, I've got to admit. Some of the CGI just isn't the best, and there's one scene with one of the characters called Uncle Mike, I think it is. If you've seen the film, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, where basically he's cuddling some lions, and it honestly looked like something out of Polo Express. And by the way, I should say here, I quite like Polo Express, but that movie came out in 2004. You'd expect CGI movies to be a bit better, and it just, it looked a bit jarring when I was watching the cinema. But saying that though, it delivered on what I wanted it to. It does what it says in the tin. It, you know, it delivers on that premise. It just helped versus this giant beast-like lion. Honestly, it's not really a lion even. I mean, it takes the shape of a lion, but it may as well just be like, I don't know, it may as well be some monster. It really may as well be like, you'll watch the movie and it's just, it's quite summary what the lion does sometimes. But at the same time though, it is fun to watch. It is fun watching all these big action sequences with the lion. It is fun watching the build up that goes into these action sequences as well. And just the way the film orchestrates all this build up and all this tension is actually done quite well in my opinion. You know, that funny enough, the filmmaking in this film as well kind of made it more interesting to watch for me because one thing I really didn't expect this film to do but that one thing it did do was that like, it did all of its like big action sequences and it did all its build up in like these one long takes almost like it was a Spielberg film almost like it was a Paul Thomas Anderson film that is not a film I thought of comparing this film to but still nonetheless you get the point I'm making they've done all these like one long takes and I don't know if they were one long takes or maybe they've been edited together in some sort of way but it's actually quite impressive when you're watching you're going oh my god they haven't actually edited or cut to like another shot in the scene it's all done in one long shot shot that's what i'm trying to say there not one long take one long shot and i think it works really well like night 17 and like boiling point and like the birdman film as well with my key you know, it has a lot of one shot sequences which i think make the film more tense and more riveting and just a bit more fun to watch to be honest like when the tension is being built up it's all done in these one long shots these one long take shots and i do think that builds on the tension a lot more and yeah i really liked that about it and also the performance of great age so was great in the movie and I believe in the family dynamic. I think the ones that play daughters in the film are also great. And the one that plays Uncle Mike as well. I forgot the actor's name is now. But he was also in District 9. And he was also in Free Fire as well. I thought he was great in this film. And I really like that character. The character of Uncle Mike. I think that's what the character's name is. And also, I think the film had some great action sequences. And like I said before, it delivers on what you expect it to. It's Idris Elba versus this big giant lion. And you know what? It kind of worked for me. I thought it was okay. It wasn't anything special. It is a movie I'm going to be talking about for years to come, like Elvis or like the Batman or like, I don't know, the North one as well. It isn't like one of my favourite movies of the year. But that's alright. I had a good time with this movie and that's what I kind of wanted for me. It's nothing amazing, but if you want to go to the cinema at the moment during your summer break, if you will, if you are still on summer break when you're watching this video, I don't know if you will be, but still, nevertheless, if you want to go to the cinema right now, I watch it, that's just a bit of fun. I'd recommend this movie. And also, by the way, this is an add-on. One thing I forgot to mention when I was doing my review, which I just... I'm putting it in now because I forgot to mention it because I'm feeling a bit dizzy today, but nonetheless, one thing I forgot to mention 
in my view, Beast, was that there's this one scene in the film which is literally like a pseudo version of the kitchen scene from the first Jurassic Park movie with the kids and the two boss raps in the kitchen. The first Jurassic Park film, one of my favourite scenes in that movie. There's a scene very similar to that in this film as well. But I've got to admit, I quite like that scene. And also, I thought the film's ending was really good and I really liked that about it. Anyway, back to my review. It does what it says in the 10 and it delivers on its premise. And you know what? I thought it was okay. By the way, so we can hear bike outside, but nonetheless, I kind of liked Beast. And that was a bit of a surprise for me, I've got to admit. And so, all in all, I'm going to say that Beast, I'm going to say that it's a 6.5 out of 10. You know, like I said before, it isn't anything amazing or groundbreaking, but it doesn't need to be, and it doesn't try to be anything else than what it is, if you got what I mean. It doesn't try to be anything else. It doesn't try to do anything too complicated. It is just what you'd expect from this movie. And that's kind of why it worked for me. And also, it has a nice heart as well. Like, the family dynamic really makes the film, you know, more interesting for me. I kind of got more interest and more compelled into the characters. And even so I didn't feel that immersed into the movie, I still enjoyed watching it though, and I want to take that, I'm going to take that away from me, because like, I've got to admit, I enjoyed this film more than I enjoyed Bullet Train, the latest Brad Pitt film which came out, because my problem with Bullet Train is that I just didn't feel any sort of sympathy for any of the characters that me, not even Brad Pitt, who's the protagonist of the film, you're meant to feel sympathy for him, and you're meant to go along with him, and you're meant to, you know, what's the word I'm looking for, you're meant to align yourself, and you have that sense of allegiance with Brad Pitt's character in Bullet Train, and I just didn't, but I did have that sense of allegiance with Idris Elba character in this movie because you saw that it's this guy who cares for his family and he's going through quite a lot of pain with the loss of his wife right now as well and I do think that's dealt with well in the movie and so that made me care about the characters in the film that made me care about the main characters so therefore I had a bit more fun with it than I did with Bullet Train in fact I didn't really have that much fun with Bullet Train but I had quite a bit of fun with this movie it's okay it's fun there you go I liked it and I was really happy that I did, to be honest, because, you know, I just, I was a bit, I don't know, I was a bit hesitant to go and watch this film, I'm not going to lie, because also I'm not feeling that well right now, so I didn't really want to go to the cinema, because I'm just, I'm feeling a bit dizzy, but still, I went to the cinema and I had a good time with this film, like I said before, nothing groundbreaking, but it does what it says in the tin, and it delivers on the premise that it sets out to do, you know, it's Idris Elba versus a big giant lion, and you know what? it worked to me and so all in all i'm gonna say that beast i'm gonna say that it's a 6.5 out of 10 from me anyway guys what do you think of beast please do comment down below and know your thoughts in the comment section below anyway guys thank you as always for watching and if you haven't yet please do click down below and subscribe on this video and look forward to many more both film and TVs come very soon on this channel. See you guys again soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye.